everyone how are you all i hope you all are doing well so welcome to an interesting session of arduino in this session we are going to familiarize what is arduino its features and how to upload code to arduino and actually what is arduino anyone okay so i will show you a demo for you just wait did you see this is our arduino board so if you know arduino you can build digital hardware product using arduino so actually arduino is a tool for controlling electronics so here we connect the arduino to laptop and we can upload code so if you are using any devices that we connected to arduino you can control automatically how is it excited okay so now let's move on to the project so while doing the project we will learn what is arduino the type of boards that we use it for making the project and arduino ide the errors that occurred in arduino and also the applications so we can start from what is arduino actually what is arduino anyone okay so actually arduino is an open source electronic platform it is easy to use hardware and software so anyone can download or modify the arduino boards hardware side and also software side as per our requirement it's a free source so the lots of people are using arduino for making different different project and there are different types of arduino boards are available actually arduino will read the input signals and it will make a, it as an output based on that input commands and here we have different type of arduino boards uno board is there nano board is there lily pad and mega here we using arduino uno so why we using arduino uno it has some features it's most popular board in electronics so here we using arduino uno board so this is our arduino uno board it is based on microcontroller at mega 328 so what is microcontroller so microcontroller is a small expensive computer that can run on low power so the entire process is controlled by the microcontroller at mega 328 we control input devices and it will make as an output the entire process will controlled by this microcontroller and it has 14 input and output pins it will start from 0 to 13 so here we have 14 input and output pins digital pins okay and here we have six analog pins it start from a0 to a5 so we can connect sensors if you want to connect three or five or six sensors you can connect at a time and the board have five voltage and also 3.3 voltage are available on the board okay so if you want to connect the components to the board you can take power from the board itself so here we have five volt pin and we have three ground pins and it has a operating voltage 5 voltage and input voltage range 7 to 12 volt so if you want to connect a external battery you can connect here here we have the point to connect battery and also this point is usb port we can connect to laptop for uploading the code and here we have reset button so if you want to run the code again you just click on this reset button okay it will restart this is about the arduino you know board and there are lots of pins are available based on each project we can learn the pins connections okay and also we have transmitter and receiver pin is here for connecting bluetooth devices or like device so we can also use this pins and pwm pins are also available for controlling speed of a component okay so these are the pins main pins of the board so this is about our arduino board the basic concept there will be a 14 pins so we can connect multiple devices at a time to this board so the board will control the output devices or the input devices this is about arduino uno now let me show you how to connect this arduino uno to laptop because here we are uploading the code from laptop itself using the coding platform code arduino id i will explain what is arduino id and before that we need to connect this arduino to the, our system how we connect we have this port to connect our usb cable did you see this port okay you just pick your arduino uno from your kit and just connect with your usb cable You can select any common port of your system okay did you see the led will turn on this is our power led so when we connect with this system 
one LED, red LED will turn on. And in this board, there will be an inbuilt LED on pin number 13. You can see L. So, this is our inbuilt LED. Pin number 13 is our inbuilt LED. So, you can check the board with our inbuilt LED if it is working or not. So, you can also connect like this. Actually, this is our hardware connection. We need to connect our you know, board with our system and we can upload the code using the coding platform that I will summarize later. So, you just connect like this. Have you completed? Very good. Okay. So, now let's move on to the coding platform. So, now let me show you the coding platform here using Arduino IDE, the Integrate Development Environment. For making the code, we need to download the IDE. So, I will show you the steps. If you not installed, you just follow with me. Okay. You need to search Arduino IDE. Arduino IDE. Just open a Chrome browser and you can search Arduino IDE and just click on the first link. Okay. So, I will show you how to install Arduino IDE. So, here we are using oldest version of Arduino IDE. So, it will support for all type of boards. Okay. Rather than Arduino you know, it will support different type of board. So, I am going to use 1.819 and for Windows you can choose here. If you are using any other operating system, you can choose Linux or Mac OS accordingly based on your system requirement. So, here I am using Windows version. So, I just click on just download. Okay, just drag down and click on just download again. So, you can see a file downloading here. Okay, did you see a file downloading here? Just wait for the downloading. So, the file download to our system, you can click on downloads and here we have Arduino 1.819 version and just click. So, here we have to click I agree, next install, okay. So, it will install to your C drive. So, just wait for the installation. So, if you are installed one time, you can use that version for doing the project. Okay. So, this is first steps only. We need to install that software or no ID software to our system. So, this is the steps. So, you can also install like this. So, I hope you all are installed right. Yes. Okay. So, just wait for that completion. Okay. Okay, so it's completed and click on close. Now you can search Arduino from the search button. Okay, Arduino. Here it is. Here it is. And you can open. Okay. See, we have a new interface here. Arduino ID interface. Okay, this is our file because each program we can save as a file. So, this is our first interface you can see a sketch here void setup and void loop this is our basic structure of text based coding and here we can type our code okay so right now we are just familiar this win interface and here we have file so file means when we click this file we can open a new file for example i am just clicking here see a new file open here so you can type a new code like this okay and if you want to save a project you just click on file and save or save us okay just click on save us then you can go to the location and you can save okay just put a project name for example project one just type your project name and click on save button so you can save that project see this project or this file name changed to project one okay so this is about the project how we can save a project and you can modify the project later okay you can save a project like this and if you want to open just go to that location and open your project okay you can save anywhere of your system any drive okay fine so this is about the interface and here we have the edit button so there are lots of uh, options there for copy of the code and paste okay and sketch sketch means we can verify the sketch or upload you can click here or you can go to tools tools the main things if you want to select the board or no you know board you need to come to this tools and you need to select the board here and also the port where we connected our Arduino. So, this is most important things you need to connect the port. So, right now I just disconnect that board. So, there is a port disabled. Okay. 
so when you control our node system then you can see that port there our system port okay if you are uh, if you are control your arduino to the board so there is no port you need just come to this device manager for example i'm going to connect with this device manager and you can search device manager okay device manager did you see device manager just open yes so here you can check the port so there is no port right now showing so i'm just connecting this arduino again so i just connected my board you know okay you already connected right yes so here you can see usb port okay that port common 3 so this is our port so you can check port from here also okay if you are search that port if there is no port on the arduino id you can just come to device manager and also you can find a port here So now we know the port okay so the same port you can get from this tools you just come to tools and here we need to select the board so we control arduino uno right yes so we control arduino uno to the board so you can select the board here and for that just make sure you connected arduino uno okay let me show you once again did you see we need to connect like this just connect this uno to your system okay then only you can see that port there are we connected yes very good okay so now he, we have uh, esp board like that so we need to change to arduino board or no avr board and come to arduino uno okay so here we select yes now we have arduino uno the board so when we come to arduino to our laptop we need to choose that board here okay if you come to any other board you just select that board here so here we have uno board so choose you know and also the port you know the port right is yes, common 3 just choose common 3 so here we control arduino id to our hardware part or our board okay so we control these two things together so now we can upload the code to the arduino you know so how we upload the code here we have some sample codes inside this file you can go to examples and here we have basic and we can add a code blink code okay i just click this code see we have a new file open and here we have a code to blink inbuilt led okay so led built in led is pin number 13 so we can check with this code this is an example code or sample code so right now we don't type the code we just check with this example okay so how we upload the code that steps we are going to learn so right now you can compile the code just click on the compile button okay so why we compare in the code we can check errors of the code okay so i'm going to compare yes so then compare there's no error now we can upload before uploading make sure you counter with this arduino you know and common three yes we counted and we can upload the code right now so now we can upload the code by clicking this button second button okay so uploading means the code will upload to our arduino you know board okay so here we come you know board so here we upload the code so basically this code is for blink led inbuilt led okay so when we upload this code our inbuilt led will start blinking okay now let's check did you see the inbuilt led start blinking so our pin number 30 is inbuilt led so we just upload this code for blink code okay so this blinking code is an example so we know type the code we just upload the codes sample code okay for testing how to upload the code to arduino so the basic thing we need to connect this usb cable with laptop and our you know board and we need to choose our board here in arduino id and we can upload the code by selecting the port so this is about the working okay actually this code is just for turn on and turn off led so like this we can control the devices various digital devices using arduino you know and we using arduino in different fields for home automation project and we can use it in healthcare and uh, farming and agriculture field for testing the data for te temperature testing or humidity testing and also water irrigation system so here all we can use arduino project or arduino applications of arduino is include this all areas so this is about the order you know we just learn about the basic coding 
concept of Arduino, how to upload a code to Arduino using Arduino IDE. So here we connected three systems. One is hardware part and we using Arduino IDE and the code. So when we apply some input to this board, it will generate an output based on that input. Okay. For example, if you connected a sensor to the board, it will detect the changes in the environment and we will get an output based on that. If you want to measure the temperature, you will get the data from sensor and it will make an output. We can uh, print that output on an LCD screen. So likewise, you can make project or you can develop your own products. So this is a basic idea about Arduino. I hope it's clear. Now let's check some common errors occurred in Arduino. The first thing board not recognized. So when we connect the board to the system, just check you connect it properly with that USB cable. Okay. Otherwise, the board not selected there. So, so just choose your board or plugin properly and maybe board not sync. The same issue, if you are not connected properly, that board not selected there. And also the code doesn't start on power reset. So when we click that reset button, code get not get started. So you just close the tab and just open again the Arduino ID and just upload the code again. And also see the port in already used. And here we upload the code continuously. Maybe there are some errors showing that CD port in use. So you just uh, wait for the uploading and then click on the next uploading button. Okay. So just give that time for uploading process. And also maybe sometimes uh, the port not detected. So you can go to the Chrome browser. You can download CH34 uh, port. Okay. So you can download and install. Sometimes it may be okay. So you can refer the supporting material for the common errors and how to solve the errors. This is about the errors occurred in Arduino. So I hope you all are uploaded the code, right? Yes, the blinking code and you will go to the output like this, right? Yes. Okay, now let's check what we learned session. So anyone can you tell me what do you learned the session? Yes, we learned what is Arduino you know. So actually Arduino is a microcontroller, right? Yes, it is based on Atmega328 and it's a board. Have high features. We can connect multiple devices at a time to this board. Okay. It has 14 digital input and output ports. So you can connect this digital devices to this board. And also there are analog pins. So you can connect sensors to analog pins to take the input or switch you can connect. Okay. So this is our digital input and output pins. We have a transmitter and receiver here to connect Bluetooth devices and also here we have reset pins to restart the code again and also this external battery we can connect to this port okay and we can upload the code through the USB cable which is connected to our system and we can upload the code from Arduino we can upload the code from Arduino IDE let me show you how it works Arduino IDE So this is our Arduino IDE. It was the interface here we can type our code in this white screen and after connecting this board you just click on tools. You just click on tools and select your board. Arduino you know or which board you connected you can select here and you can choose the port where we connected this board. After choose this board and port you need to click on this compile button to verify the code and then you can click on this upload button. Okay, so after uploading the code, you can check the output in your physical part or the hardware part. So right now, you just upload a blinking code and we check the output on our Arduino Uno. So the inbuilt LED, 13th LED, turn on and off continuously. So this is about the blink program and we will learn the coding concept later. Now, I just explained how to upload the code to Arduino. It's just a familiarization of Arduino. Okay, so how is it? Interesting. Yes, so we can make more project like this. So it is a basic session only. So this is all about the session. And if you know Arduino, you can control electronic devices. Okay, and you can make your own products. You can come to the, with your ideas and you can develop your own hardware project. Okay, so this is about the session. Hi, hope you all enjoyed the session. Now let's wind up. Thank you all. Bye.